क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स राजकुमार लिमिटेड हैड परचेज सम मशीन फॉर एटी टू थाउजेंड ऑन वन फोर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व द इंस्टॉलेशन एक्सपेंसिज ऑफ दिस मशीन वॉज रुपीज एट थाउजेंड एंड ऑन वन टेन फोर्टीन द अनदर मशीनरी हैव बिन परचेज फॉर रुपीज सेवेंटी थाउजेंड एंड द इंस्टॉलेशन चार्जेस फॉर दिस इज टू थाउजेंड नव यर कंपनी इज प्रोवाइडिंग डेप्रिसिएशन टेन परसेंट अंडर स्ट्रेट लाइन मैथड थर्टी परसेंट मशीन फॉर्म फर्स्ट परचेज वॉज सोल्ड एट ट्वेंटी परसेंट प्रॉफिट ऑफ बुक वैल्यू ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन आउट ऑफ विच हैव टू प्रिपेयर मशीनरी अकाउंट टिल थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन एज वेल एज शोज इन अकाउंटिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ एनुअल अकाउंट फॉर ईच ईयर यानी कि जितनी ईयर के लिए आप कैलकुलेशन कर रहे हो फ्रॉम द टू फर्स्ट अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व टिल थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च हैव टू शो एनुअल अकाउंट दैट आई शो यू बिफोर द फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन हैव बीन रिमूव दिस ऑल फॉर द फर्स्ट मशीनरी दिस वन इज फॉर द सेकेंड मशीनरी डेप्रिसिएशन एंड द मैथड अंडर स्ट्रेट लाइन मैथड सो यर द फर्स्ट परचेज मशीन वॉज रुपीज एटी टू थाउजेंड प्लस इंस्टॉलेशन चार्जेस ऑफ एट थाउजेंड इट कम्स टू नाइन्टी थाउजेंड एज अ कॉस्ट प्राइस फॉर द फर्स्ट मशीनरी यर विल कैलकुलेट द फर्स्ट मशीन डेप्रिसिएशन विल बी द कॉस्ट प्राइज नाइन्टी थाउजेंड टेन परसेंट डेप्रिसिएशन यर कम्स नाइन थाउजेंड सो ये इज माई रेडी मशीनरी अकाउंट फर्स्ट आई राइट डाउन द डेट फर्स्ट अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व वेर द मशीन हैज बिन परचेज द मेन वैल्यू ऑफ द मशीनरी विल राइट डाउन बाई राइटिंग बैंक अकाउंट एटी टू थाउजेंड कैश अकाउंट एट थाउजेंड एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर दैट इज ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन depreciation we just now we calculate that is 9000 and as this is the straight line method we are going to repeat this amount for every year till we sell so here we get 90000 and here 9000 so the 90000 is comparatively more we'll write down 90000 at both the side get minus with 9000 here the difference come 81000 That is on thirty first March thirteen, closing balance for the year. That is carried forward. For the next year, we'll make an opening. So for the next year, it would be opening. The next year will be from first April two thousand thirteen to balance brought forward. The closing balance of the last year will become opening balance for the next year. Again at the end of the year, thirty first March two thousand fourteen. will write down depreciation for the first machinery that is 9000 before we go further let's check back when the second machine have been purchased that is on 1 10 14 so not yet abhi tak hamara year hai 1st april 2013 to 31st march 2014 so here we are not purchasing second machinery moving to the so here will end up the year From both the side, if we check the total, it is eighty one thousand comparatively more than nine thousand. So we'll write down eighty one thousand at both the side. Get minus with nine thousand here. We get the difference of seventy two thousand, which will be declared as a closing balance by balance C F, which will become opening balance for the next year. That is first April two thousand fourteen to balance. brought forward 72000 now we'll just check the date when the first machine is sold in at 31st march 2015 means this year will do 1414 and here the year will be ended on 31st march 2015 so in this year we are going to sell the first machinery as well as purchasing the second machinery So here first we'll purchase second machinery because the date is given one ten fourteen and second first machinery is selling on thirty first March two thousand fifteen. So this come before that. So first we'll write down here the second machine value is given seventy thousand and the installation charge is two thousand. Here come the second machine cost price seventy two thousand. So as per the information here, I wrote to bank account seventy thousand on one ten two thousand fourteen, and extra expenses related to the purchase of second machinery that is two thousand. 
Now we'll remove depreciation on the second machinery that is 72,000 into 10% depreciation. 10% depreciation and as this machine has been purchased on 1st October 2014 so October, November, December, January, February, March means for 6 months it was with our company so 6 divided by 12 the total month of the year if we calculate this much thing we get an amount of 3600 so that is the depreciation for the second machinery that is 3600 so here we complete with the second machinery purchase. Now we'll see the 30% machinery which is going to be sold at 20% profit. First we'll take the value of the first machinery. Here is the calculation of first machinery. On 1st April 2012 when it has been purchased it was 90,000. On 31st March 2013 9,000 depreciation has been minus. So the value remained 81,000 which become opening for the next year that is 1413, 81,000 and of the second year 31st March 2014 again we remove depreciation 9,000 so the value remain for the first machinery is 72,000. Now the third year 1414 the value of first machinery is 72,000 where on 31st March 2015 again we will remove depreciation 9,000 so the value will remain 63,000. So before we forget first we will keep this 9,000 depreciation into the place depreciation for the first machinery is 9,000. So here for the first year, for the second year, for the third year, we already kept and that's what the first machinery value remained on 1st April 2014. So after removing minus or depreciation, the value remained 63,000 out of first machinery. So on 31st March 2015, before we sale the machine, the machine value became 63,000 and as per the question, we are only going to sell 30% machinery at 20% profit on 31st March 2015. So whatever value remain after depreciation, first we will remove the 30% of the machine value that is 63,000 30% only we are going to say. So the year comes the 30% value is 18,900 out of which out of 18,900 we are going to sell at 20% profit. So we'll remove 20% on 18,900 that you can do in your calculator. It is just to show that if we remove 20% of profit on it, we get here 3,780. That is profit. So we'll add it up. So the value of selling machine must be 22,680. So that's the value of, that's the selling value which will be written as a bank account. So now this value will be written on the credit side of the machinery account with the date 31st March 2015 by writing bank account. The selling value of the machine is 22,680 where we found profit again i am showing plus and minus if we sh uh, get the, the profit out of sale we will give entry over here and if we get loss out of sale of machinery we will keep here so in this question we are getting profit of 20 percent so we will write down 31st march 2015 and write down p and l account and in bracket write down that that's the profit which will make you remember for the entries so here we write down 3780 the value of profit here we completed now here we'll add the both the side of the here i made the total of the third year i found 147780 on the debit side and on credit side total of 9322680 it is 35280 which is comparatively less so I'm going to write down 1,47,780 at both the side and going to minus with this 35,280. I'll get the balance out of it is 1,12,500 that is on 31st March 2015. Here the close balance for the year is 1,12,500. 
so here we complete the machinery account now we we'll, we are going to give entry for the annual effect for 3 years let's check for the first year how much machine we were having the rate of machine was 90000 so here we'll write down machinery value was 90000 where we'll remove depreciation of 9000 the machine value was 81000 in the year 31st march 2013 that is for the first year this 9000 will keep on the debit side by writing depreciation on machinery is 9000 that's the first year effect now we are going to give the second year effect which would be end up on 31st march 2014 and the value of machinery is 81000 so here i am ready with the specimen for the second year which is completing on 14 don't forget to write down that profit and loss account as on year ended 31st march whichever year you are giving so here the machinery value in the next year it becomes 81000 where we remove the depreciation of 9000 so the value of machinery becomes 72000 the 9000 will also give entry in the profit and loss account that is depreciation on machinery that is 9000 last year after 14 that was 31st march 2015 so first we'll write down in the both the account 31st march 2015 it is very simple just write down pnl and balance sheet and directly as on year ended whichever year you are uh, writing now the machinery value the next year it becomes 72000 where we we'll remove depreciation of 9000 so for this year the value of machine will become 63000 and the entry of and the entry of depreciation will be given in the profit and loss debit side by writing depreciation on machinery that is 9000 so here we complete entries in the annual effect here is the machinery account that's all the calculation here the calculation is continue with the 30% machine with the 20% profit if you want you can take a screenshot to write it down in your book and let me know if you have any queries